Today's video, I would like to um, show to you guys the exterior of Mazda E1800. It can be swivel, huh? it can be rotated, and can be leaned down. Uh, right? Okay. Tada! Mazda E800. So this is from the left side. As you can see, the rim ah, have a little rust over there. This one also have a rust. This one need to be touch up. We need to get rid of the rust. Uh, overall, the color is already already faded. So from the left side, I will show you from the front side. This is from the front side. Um, wiper uh, need to change, need to replace um, the front lamp. Still good. This one uh, a little bit broken over here. Uh, this one. Okay, and then we have some. I don't know what I call that grill bar. Grill. <laughs> okay, this is from the front side. From the right side, it, the left side is better than this side, lah. Because this side have a huge bust over here and over here, and then have a little dent, a little bit of dent. You can see. And then the what is this? The lining, the lining is already missing. A little bit of rust here, here, here. Uh, I need to uh, get rid of the rust sooner or later. And then have to spray all of this, <laughs> all of this van. Already asked a few of my friends. About how much the spray will cost around four thousand and five thousand <laughs> four to five thousand uh, the exterior and also the interior the interior what do they mean by interior spray is this one uh? and this side this area this area uh, this one this area also the area also need to be sprayed so that is what they mean by in and out spray full spray lah if only in the exterior paint it will cost around 4000 like that so this is from the back side uh, back side here have a little bit of this one the paint is damaged and also have a little bit of rust the bumper here, I thought it's plastic, but it's not. This one is metal, so I have a little bit of rust here, and also have a little bit of dust and rust. This area also. This one also. Huh? So that's for the exterior of a Mazda E800 E1800 so for me I have no not much complaint about the exterior of a less than 10k van I didn't expect much for the van of uh, less than 18 less than 10k lah so this one I would like to show you the interior. The interior surprisingly it looks cozy. Huh? As, as you can see on my previous video, I mentioned about the seat is very thick as you can see here. 
This one also very thick. And the seat can be uh, rotated 180 degree. Uh, for, but for this seat only lah, for this row only. But, but for the back seat, they lean backward. I want to show you how I rotate. So they have some kind of pin over here. You just pull it. But first you need to bring this one down first. And then pull it. And you just... Ah, and just turn it lah. Turn it like so. And then push. This lah. And also this one. You need to bring this down first. Oh. And then pull the spin over here. And you start rotating. Start rotating. And actually this one can. Ah, like this lah. Uh, the this seat can stop at this uh, angle and then you can put it like this lah. so the advantages of the swivel seat is you can arrange it uh, the way you want and in the future I would plan to put in some table uh, put in a table for work lah you can put on your laptop, you can eat on the table but the table will be a, a flip up, it's not a permanent table you can flip it up you can you can, sim, you can put it there and then you can flip it up uh, things like that lah so this is the advantages of the swivel seat, you can arrange it the way you want I want to finish this first Okay. Tada! Back to its default place. Uh, so this area is quite comfy. Eh? It's quite um, spacey. The leg area is very big. You can put. I don't know if you want to put your leg or put any other items. You can also. And this is the extra, this is the pillow lah, extra pillow. Actually, you can also sit over here. Uh -huh. You can sit here. So, the idea is later on, I want to make it the camper van. I uh, will not get rid of the seats. I will just rotate it and then lean it back. And then the center here, this space center here, I will put some kind of, I don't know, table, uh, maybe some kind of table or cabinet, just so that we have uh, an even floor, so that I can put the the, the bed lah, uh, so we can sleep. We can sleep inside this camper van. This is why it's called camper, so you can camping. <laughs> So we can camping. We can sleep in the van. And then when we sleep, we have to uh, open this window, lah, huh? Open this window for oxygen. <laughs> or not, you will suffocate. And then we have we will install a few of fans, a huh? few fans. Inside here. So for off grid, we don't have any electrical supply. We will, I will buy the power portable power station. You can assume it as a 
power bank, handphone power bank, but it's a big size. Not only to charge your handphone, but can charge your fan, your fans lah, fan and lighting. But nowadays they uh, already they can sell uh, lights, fans with battery, so you can use them with battery lah. No need to use the portable power station. Ah. So that's the idea. That's the idea of my simple minimalistic camper van. <laughs> Buy a camper van. Um, with this nice feature or silver seat feature that can be leaned down, leaned back so that we can put our mattress eh, or pillow and then we can sleep lah. Uh, Besides that, I will uh, put in some kind of flip up table so that we can eat we can do our work on the table lah. Um, the fan you can buy the uh, air cool fan air cool fan is like an aircon lah. so you can put your water or ice in the air cool fan the way they come out will be a little bit cooler uh, compared to normal fan uh, but not as cool as a normal air conditioner lah. So I already bought that one. I will make the unboxing video in the next video lah for the air cool fan. Alright, so um, I already tell you the uh, exterior and also the interior of this Mazda 1800. I will update um, the status in the next video. Yeah, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Huh? Alright, so anything to ask, you can comment below. Uh, I will reply it as soon as possible. Huh? About this camper van or anything else. Ah. The ethical system, the uh, plumbing. Uh, plumbing. <laughs> plumbing also is one of my... If I want to buy a portable toilet. <laughs> portable toilet. And then we have some kind of water supply. Yeah? Might be we have sink. Uh, we have to install sink, but sink will be very much like a simple sink, lah, huh? not a permanent one. If you watch the camper van uh, video in YouTube, uh, most of them, lah, most of them use uh, permanent sinky, uh, permanent sink where they install a lot of cabinets, you know, uh, the ceiling they install with uh, woods, uh, pine woods. Uh, so I don't want to go that far um, because maybe they all already changed the status of the van with JPJ from the window van this is window van so you can see a lot of window there window van is uh, meant for family right so if you want to do something to your van major modification uh, eventually you have to change the status of the van uh, to caravan Caravan is a van that you have modified the interior and exterior lah, uh, for family lah, for camping, uh, for off grid uh, purpose. So that is the that is the legal thing about 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 camper van in Malaysia lah. Uh, but if you do minor uh, modification, the inside for the inside and exterior, so I. The, there is no need to change the status to caravan. Uh, you just uh, use this status of window van, but you cannot do much lah. You cannot modify too much inside your van, or else uh, if <laughs> there is a roadblock and then you face the stern, strict officer of JPJ or police, uh, you might get fined lah. Huh? You might get summoned. All right. So that's all for me. Uh, again, stay tuned uh, and wait for my next video uh, for the next update of camper van. Uh, my channel about uh, camper van, but also about motorcycle, uh, motorcycle and other hobbies of mine. Uh, other hobbies of mine uh, will document it in this YouTube channel. 
eh? Alright, I reckon this channel is my diary lah That's why objective, purpose lah To have a YouTube channel Alright Okay, see you in the next video Bye-bye Don't forget to like, share and subscribe Bye-bye